Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the MPH Studio uh, MPH SO2 Commander so yeah this is a Optimus Prime from the MPH Studio uh, if you remember the MPH Studio already made a, a tiny version of Dune, uh, Dune Runner, Dune Buggy uh, <laughs> so yeah, this is their second figure, uh, Optimus Prime, and it's a uh, mixed bag for me for now. So yeah, we'll come back to this later. So we have the box right here, some art, legal stuff in the side, or well, on the side, not underneath. We have a cool art on the back, and yeah, it's pretty much it. Some more warnings and stuff. So yeah, let's stop wasting time with the box. Open it up. So yeah, got that. The box uh, doesn't have much, so let's put it in the back like this. So we've got the figure right here, and we have instructions. Now, the transformation is not that intricate, and that's probably one of my main problem with this figure. Uh, the uh, transformation is like nothing we've never seen before. It's it's like uh, taking from every other Optimus Prime that we've seen, so it's nothing like super original. So. Instructions though, pretty good. We can see there's a lot, they're big, they're inter they're you know comprehensible. So you know, big thing, big big instruction. We have nothing in the back, so yeah, they're somewhat easy to follow, but then again, like I said, the transformation is nothing uh, special, you know. So yeah, we'll come back to this right there. So there we go. Put this on the side. We have a bunch of accessories, so let's take a look. We got a tiny card, and it's pretty cool because we have like those uh, sort of like a 3D, 3D kind of card. So we got Optimus Prime truck mode, robot mode. So that's pretty cool. In the back, we have uh, sort of like a 3D representation of Cybertron. So I really like this. Yeah, pretty interesting. Very small. So yeah, that's quite cool. I'm not a fan of cars, but this one is quite interesting. Now we have a whole bunch of accessories. So let's take them all out. <coughs> There you go. First, we have a tiny, tiny matrix <laughs> of leadership. Ah, so small. So yeah, uh, got this right here. I'm trying to hold it. Really small. Same thing on the other side. So pretty cool, painted and everything. That's nice. So small. Uh, what do we have? We have uh, the uh, energy axe, and we have that thing here to plug it into. So yeah, there you go. Goes in. And you plug it like this, so you have the extended uh, thing here. So now we can stick it inside the uh, fist, uh, uh, well, inside the fist hole, and uh, on robot. So there you go, just translucent plastic. It's interesting. It's pretty good. Uh, what do we have? We have a couple of chimneys because they 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 don't come install pre-install on the figures. So you have to install them yourself. So we'll come back to this, but yeah, they're nicely painted. Uh, we have his cannon. There you go, all plastic, black, that's cool. And we have like a tip right here, I'm not too sure what it does. So we got like a second tip, I'm not sure, this this doesn't remove, so I'm not sure where it goes, what it does. But we have like a plastic gun tip, so <laughs> that's weird. So uh, yeah, that's that, that. So put this aside, and we have a bunch of hands. So we have uh, two pointing hands. So yeah, there's fingers pointing, kind of like a, oh, like Spider-Man finger. <laughs> it's weird. But yeah, yeah, we got those, and we have like two tiger claw hands. So bring this here, here, there you go. Like kind of gripping tiger tiger claws. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. So yeah, uh, and then we have the figure itself. <clears throat> there you go. And he looks pretty interesting. Like a uh, plastic feels kind of weak a bit, but it's not that bad. So there you go. Looks pretty good. Uh, the ears can fall. <laughs> I was gonna say it can ro be rotated. Jeez, but yeah, they can fall also because they peg off easily. There you go. Straighten them up. Oop. So we have that nice face sculpt. If I can focus, there you go. So the head can move up and down a little bit, can rotate, no problem. The ears love to move around and pop out, so be careful about this. Uh, arms, you can stretch those out, those out, can rotate here, you have a joint like this. 
we got a rotation of the upper uh, bicep. The elbow can bend a little bit more than 90 degrees. The fist can rotate and you can remove it and you can plug in uh, the axe, for example. So there you go. Or any of the other hands. So I'll bring this back up. There you go. Uh, we do have rotation of the waist. The waist can also have ab crunch. Like this. Oh, bring it back. The legs can go uh, forward like such. You can see the joint right here like this. So we'll bring it like this. And the leg can go like this. And not a, not a lot on the back. And we do have rotation at the upper thigh. The knee bends more than 90 degrees. It's like a double joint. Uh, the feet can, you know, bend down, go up. The heels also. And you have a tilt. So that's that. And you can see the door flaps a lot. And that's a big problem for me. But, yeah, the, the whole torso has lots of problem. Uh, like you see, the doors are loose. Uh, the arms are kind of weird. These panels on the side are kind of loose also. So we have a lot of problems with the torso. But MPH is now releasing a um, uh, extra part. Like it's the whole torso without the head, without the, the hands, and without the windows. And they're releasing like a fixed part of the torso. Because mine is really loose. And the truck mode is pretty bad also because nothing holds correctly. So hopefully the new torso will fix this. But right now, I don't have the flu of the torso. So oh, I just noticed I lost that earring again. Well, the, one of the ears. So put it back, there you go. So yeah, backpack cleans up fairly nice. But yeah, again, like I said, the transformation is like the whole torso transformed pretty much exactly like uh, MP10. So they stole pretty much everything about this. Uh, the legs are a little bit different than what we've seen, but nothing major. We do have like that square here. It's a peg for when it's in vehicle mode, but in robot mode, it kind of looks weird. So yeah, but yeah, well, uh, the rest is decent. We can install the chimneys or the stacks. So there you go, you just pop them in here. There you go. So that's it. interesting, that's pretty cool. Well, yeah. Uh, there you go, and I just popped it back. So we have the chimney, the, the stacks here installed. As for the matrix, we open this up like this. It may help to uh, lift this up, and now you can flip this open, and you have the space for the matrix. So let's try and put this, it's so tiny. Uh, 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 I do have some tweezers, this is gonna help. <laughs> there you go, push it in. There we go, so it's installed. <laughs> so we have that, close this, close this, and voila, we have the torso. So, yeah, uh, the gun can be held in his hand, of course. There you go. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, covering pretty much everything else. So, uh, one more thing, I, I for mine, I lost one of the windows, like the, the, the side windows is actually a piece here and it just fell off. So mine kind of broke and uh, I tried to put it back in, but it's so small I haven't been able to. So I just used the tape on the side here to not lose it. So hopefully the new torso will have a fix for this, hopefully. So, yeah, all right, so we'll do a little comparison with uh, other buddies. So here we have a little comparison. We have the first release of MPH Studio. So we have a Beachcomber and you can see size wise, he's pretty good. They, they need to scale pretty much together. So yeah, pretty nice. Otherwise we have uh, Magic Squares, Optimus Prime. So he's a little bit bigger, but even though the transformation is very similar, I still think the Magic Square pulls it off much better. So yeah. Even Magic Square doesn't have like all the loose parts that this one has. So yeah, we have here my old generation classics, I think. The core or a legend size back then. So yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that window door thing is really annoying. But yeah, hopefully this will get fixed with the new torso when I get it. So yeah, we can move on with the transformation now. 
So for transformation first, if you haven't done it, remove the weapons. So there we go. All right, uh, let's start with the arms. So you have this panel underneath here, you need to flip it. And it's kind of weird because it feels like it won't flip, but it will. So the, the joint is kind of, you know, hard to open. Then you have this and you have like this thing here, which is weird because that panel doesn't have a purpose. So yeah, whatever. So. Flip the fist in, rotate the panel back in, and slide it back like this. Next up, you have uh, this panel here. You have to flip it so you see this and you squish it. So this needs to be like in front so you can see sort of the mushroom peg here. And then uh, this needs to rotate like this. Oops, pop the chimney. Pull it back in. There you go. So we have that configuration now. So do the same here, so flip this panel here, so it's kind of exactly like the MP10, and then you flip this open, this is kind of different, but it's not that great <laughs> of a uh, sequence transformation. Next up you have the mushroom peg here, you need to rotate it here, again the chimney, so like this, and then you squish it, here you go, and then you rotate this all the way around, like this, it's like this, again down. And where's the chimney? Uh, there you go. There you go, the stack goes back in. If it wants to, it doesn't want to. There you go, nope. Ah, so small. I have big clumsy fingers, there you go. Nope. I'll just remove, leave it, there you go. <laughs> you can leave it on, but yeah. Next up, uh, kind of like MP10, you uh, open this up like this. You stretch this out like this. This you can flip it down, it'll help. You have to extend the thing here. Rotate it like this. So you know I have the bumper here. Uh, take this panel here, flip it down. Uh, flip these on the side. Like this, you want to pull these out on the side exactly, kind of like MP10, like such, like such. There you go. Pull on the uh, bumper like this, bring it down. Now you can uh, flip this down here. You, you, well, you, you don't flip it, you just like pull it, rotate the head in, make sure the ears are cleared up because <laughs> they <laughs> pop out so easily. So, like this. There you go. And this part right here is kind of hard to uh, do, but with pincers, you have this part right here you can. Flip this part right here, like such, bring it straight, and this will sort of like go like this. So it's a really tiny tab here, and you can see the arms are really loose now. Alright, uh, we'll take the waist like this, and then you can rotate these panels like this, like this to the front, like such, and then you can bring the waist again like such. Alright, so we have that now. Just open, bring this up like this, just like this. Alright, the arms, kind of like every other Optimus Prime, you need to close this in. This goes down, the arms needs to go on top of them. Let's bring this like this. So arms needs to be fed through. Here. Uh, one, it's not probably doing, but like I said, there's like a lot of hindrance and everything is super loose. Come on, there it goes, this goes in, this goes in the back, this goes like this, and uh, the other stack just fell off. It's alright. So we got this now. So let's do the same on the other side. Bring this down, bring this back like this. This needs to rotate in like such. This needs to open up. This needs to be fed through here. There we go. Push. And we have this. Press goes down. Just bring this up, bring this down. All right, so this now has the window on the side here. It needs to rotate like this on the exterior and flip the tiny window right here like such. So, got this. So, same thing here, open this up. Open this up and you can see this side has the blue window, this side lost it, so it's in the box. 
and I didn't want to lose it, but it's so tiny, so yeah. So we got that. Flip this on here like this, and you can see it's all squished up weird. So yeah, uh, it's not the best transformation, and like I said, everything is super crazy loose. So we got that. Bring this down. Rotate the waist. Such, and you can see it's all busted up. <laughs> you can try and fit it correctly. And one thing that is really hard to do, though, it's these uh, windows on the side here. So let's pull this out. You open this up. You have a tiny window in here. You need to flip it open and pass it through over here, like such. So we've got that going. Do the same on the other side. You flip the tiny mirror out completely out like such and this will go in here Oop, the window just flipped like this so this will go like this and then you can close the door so and just should uh, encapsulate everything there you go like this <sighs> right yeah, like I said, it's not a very fun transformation. It's so tiny and everything is loose and nothing pegs really into place. So, bring this mirror again. All right, look this up. Flip this open. This needs to close down like such. This needs to go here, go under the window like such. Just go like this. Then you can close the door. And voila. So we got that going on. So, yeah, these should peg into place, but they don't really uh, hold too much, so it's kind of hard. But yeah, got this. All right, got that. <laughs> Legs now, kind of easy, so you just flip this panel out, like such. Close this. Take this uh, canister here, the gas can thing, flip it up like this. Then you take this part right here, you rotate it out, and you have like that peg right here will go inside, like such. And then you have the heel spur that go completely up, so it covers this part. And the foot rotates and goes in here, sort of. Oh, like such. And then you have the accordion of the leg in, and it will peg into the side of the wheels. Like such. Then you close this back in, like such, and like such. There you go, we have one leg done. So, do the same thing on the other side. So, open this up, close this, flip the tank up. There you go. Flip this wheel here, outside, and flip it back in like this. Take the heels. Rotate it like this, take the foot, rotate it like this, accordion the leg in, and peg it on the side of the wheel. There you go, like this. This panel closes in, then you can peg the legs together, adjust the foot, like this. And now you have the gas canister, which will plug onto the side skirt. We got this here. Goes in, this goes in. There you go, and we're pretty much done. <laughs> Let's try and uh, fix the uh, cab here, but yeah, that's pretty much it. We have the side mirror here, such, and yeah, it's not a great transformation. It's really weird uh, out. Yeah, like these. Like I said, the torso is not that great, and uh, the chimney just both of them fall. fall. There you go. Got what? Where's the other one? Where's the other one? On there, make it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh on, so small Even my fingernails can have trouble but yeah there you go so yeah it's not a great transformation all the torso is kind of really loose it's hard to transform the windows pops up oh and I forgot one more step <laughs> these panels you need to rotate them so I got this yeah. oh, there you go so we just rotate the window and this one just popped out, of course. So I'll flip it over. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, it's not the greatest uh, Optimus Prime we've seen. It doesn't bring a lot of different thing. The transformation uh, is very 
uh, like inspired by an MP10 and some others. So yeah, they had, they had trouble with the arms here. So it's kind of weird. I try something. Oh, pull this, this, pull it back. Eh. The chimney just exploded again. And slide this back in. Okay, this seems to be a little bit better. So, yeah, let's do this on the other side. So, basically, this joint, you have the mushroom joint right here. It's kind of hard to see. Where the mushroom joint is facing out towards, it needs to be facing forward. So, again, let's pop this out. Pull on it. Bring it on the side. Push it back. Rotate this back. And there you go. Now you have to reinstall everything. So, yeah, it's a bit better. But, yeah, it's not that great again. You can see the bumper here doesn't hold on anything, so it just holds on friction from the, the, the both sides. It doesn't peg in anywhere. These doesn't hold really, besides for the door here. The mirror are kind of big <laughs> for what it is. But, yeah, okay, it's not that bad. And I lost again the chimney here. So, so yeah, that's... That's it, it does roll, but uh, yeah, I don't know where to peg the gun, it does have a peg on the side here, but I don't see any peg holes anywhere, so that's kind of weird, doesn't have any anywhere, so, uh, I don't know, <laughs> yeah, not the greatest, so we got a little comparison here, we have the magic square, which to me is the better one, of course, Though the back of the leg is a little bit uh, thicker than I would like to. So, got that. Uh, we have the uh, Generation Classic. You can see. Yeah, all this is all crooked. Yeah, I really hope the replacement uh, the torso will. Again, the chimney fell off. I'm gonna glue those with the next torso. <laughs> oh, yeah. Focus. Jesus, camera. What the heck? There you go. So, yeah. And we have the first MPH studio. So we have the tiny beachcomber. Yeah. yeah, very tiny. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah, kind of cool. But yeah, this one needs a lot of work. The chimney doesn't hold too much. That's not a big, big issue. It, it's just annoying. Uh, transformation is not fun at all. There's a lot of loose parts. I don't like the sliders right here like that. Uh, the legs are okay, I guess. I don't like the feet sticking out like this. I would rather have like the leg, the, the feet like going somewhere under and hide better than this. But yeah, it's a small figure. But yeah, the whole cab van is really bad. And in robot mode, the the, the, the windows are super loose. Yeah. Hopefully the next uh, the, the, the the replacement torso will fix all of this. I will do another video when I get the uh, replacement torso. But on the, in the meantime, MPH uh, Commander, uh, not a big not a big recommend. I really don't recommend this figure. It's not that great. Maybe wait for the replacement. Hopefully the replacement will come with all the new releases. But the first release, this, this one, not good. <laughs> to be honest. The plastic doesn't feel that great. It feels like Gundam model. Uh, if you've been doing those, the plastic feels the same as a Gundam model. So there you go. The, the window all crooked really bothers me a lot. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much it for me. You know the song. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, blah, blah, blah. Right, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.